gather today to remember a great man who inspired so many people to reach beyond the divides that have haunted our generation, our nation for generations. This gathering, along with all those happening across this country, hold a special meaning as we celebrate the living proof that Martin Luther King Jr.'s dream is alive. We stand at the threshold of a new era. Tomorrow, a man of African descent becomes our 44th president. And regardless of your political affiliation, what is occurring on the steps of the United States Capitol building is an historic, profoundly moving moment in the life of this nation. This year, when we recite the litany for Martin Luther King Jr. Day and sing, lift every voice and sing, they will carry a fresh, deeper, and more poignant meaning. Yes, the dream is alive, but let us not forget that it is not finished. There is still work to do. So as we celebrate today, let us remember that while a milestone has been reached, the work is not done. When we commemorate Martin Luther King, we commemorate not only one man, but a whole movement. The African American Civil Rights Movement. A movement not led by one man alone, but also by women and men like Ida B. Wells, W.B. Du Bois, William Monroe Trotter, James Weldon Johnson, A. Philip Randolph, Ella Baker, Rosa Parks, Bayard Rustin, James Farmer, Septima Clark, Diane Nash, Stokely Carmichael, Fannie Lou Hamer, and thousands of others. When we commemorate Martin Luther King, we commemorate more than one man. We commemorate all who have struggled for justice and freedom and peace in the Babylons of oppression and slavery and violence. So this morning, we gather to commemorate Martin Luther King and to honor all who by faith are true to what they know is intrinsically true. If we are to be faithful to this commemoration, faithful to all the work of so many to bring us here, faithful to the controversies along the path to here, we must come to ask this question. Can we commemorate ourselves? Can we commemorate ourselves in this legacy of so many? So this morning, let us reflect and answer questions like, can we commemorate ourselves? Can we commemorate ourselves in this legacy of so many? Where do we fit in the legacy of Martin Luther King? When we ask that question, may I suggest an answer to all of you? I invite all of you to be dangerous. I invite all of you to be more than dangerous. In this American culture, I invite you to be dangerous Negroes. All of you. Because Martin Luther King has taught us what that means. It means that we will work for justice and freedom and peace 
struggling to end oppression and slavery and violence in our land and throughout the world. Let us leave here being dangerous Negroes.